shows up. See, when you come out of the know how and get on the get in the I don't know this way. Y'all don't like me up in here. When I when I when I recognize, I didn't know this way. I was sharing with the apostle uh, uh, in the back, and I just I, I, I just really love him. Let's say we we gonna thank God for apostle Big Law. Oh yes. God for evangelist prophets should it heal for putting together I don't call it a conference, I call it a movement. We gotta have having prophets if you're talking about a movement now. Amen, somebody. Let me say that when you honor people, God will bless you. Tell them you're so selfish. I'm just gonna tell it like it is. I'm sorry, I have to say that because let me tell you something, when you share in somebody else's amen, uh, glory and victory, amen, God will make things happen for you. We're going to do this one more time. Let me put your hands together and give God praise for Apostle Big Love. you feel you have to amen be conditioned to be the way they are to prove that you are who you say you are amen somebody but I remember when I went to a service one time and um I, I the, the, the man of God his name was prophet Scott and um I, I walked in there and I said Shh, I, I don't feel like it lifting my hands, I'm not going to praise God. I'm not going to do anything. God, if you don't, and I'm about to say something, I'm about to share my business because God told me to do so. Some of y'all ready tonight. Amen. Y'all don't rush me. I'm just like, Listen. He said, I said, God, I, I can't do this. You know, this is getting real, be real charismatic for me. I shout. I went to church high. I was on the praise and worship team high. They all jumped up and down, falling out. I said, well, God, what do they feel? Because I don't feel what they feel. I'm high as a kite. I used to go get high and go to the to the, uh, to the uh, BP gas station. Y'all remember the bumblebee pills? You take the, the, the I call them the bumblebee pills. They're little energy pills. I would get the energy pills and I would have that praise team singing for an hour, two, three hours, and we'd be up there. And they get down and say, oh, my God, I'm so tired. And I say, where you get all this energy from? And then my, my, my 
So Carter Nova said, only if you knew. <laughs> Y'all don't like me tonight. <laughs> and guess what? I said, okay, well, since they cool with this and they don't know what's going on, I might as well stay here. They ain't never used anything up anyway, so I might as well stay here. They weren't shutting the situation I was going through. Uh, they just, you know, waited till I got caught. And then they decided to pray for me that I'll be free from that spirit. Along with another spirit. I went to this church and I, the pastor, he was he was talking about deliverance. And I said, oh, you better have some showed up power for real to do with mine. I ain't doing nothing in here. He walked over to me and he said, God said you was coming to me. I said, oh, really? That man laid his hands on me. He starts poking at me. You know, they, I, I, they got a way to do deliverance now. They'll poke you, do some other stuff. I ain't never experienced this before. This man began to purge me. And I'll be, I'll be I was, ah, I'm just this purging. You know, people don't believe that no more. Oh, but it's real. And my first time experiencing that, I said, no, I in the world. I asked the man, when did, when did it go finish? He said, oh, you didn't know you were just unclean. I said, no, I didn't. Hey. I can only imagine. Yes, Lord. I can only imagine some of the saints I see that they still have that type of spirit on them. That learned behavior. Oh, Father. And I can only imagine. If I didn't know how unclean I was, I can only imagine how unclean they are. You, you understand what I'm saying? But I thank God that was in 2000. And I believe ten. Ever since then, I've never slept with another man. Y'all don't like me up in here. I ain't never smoked no weed. I was sleeping around. I had a yes in my bed for real. So if you want to size me up, let me help you understand something. No way it is, sir. You ain't ever made me. You might want to go and get me and get up off me. I'm 
of God, our Lord and our Savior, Jesus Christ. So that means what he said is you got to train your own knowledge for the knowledge of God. Yeah. What he said is I want the knowledge of God to be amen, multiplied. I want it to increase in your life because without the knowledge and without the wisdom of God, you will not be able to understand how God desires to lead you and to guide you. Amen. You never understand purpose. You never understand destiny. Amen. Because you already have it figured out in your mind. The Bible says be not wise in your own eyes. Amen. But we must be wise. Amen. With the wisdom of Almighty God. And anybody am I talking to anybody tonight? So he said, grace and peace be multiplied unto you. Yes. And what did he say? According as his divine power yes. has given unto us all things yes. that pertain unto life uh -huh. and godliness. He says, wait a minute, now I got enough for you. I got enough, amen, power to shut down your ability to try to comprehend where your destiny is going. I got enough power to shut down, amen, the fact that you think that you make this decision, you make that decision, that that's the will of God. But when you understand that everything that I do, I have to be led by the Spirit of God, then I tap into His divine power. That means everything I do from here on out has purpose. And so when you amen, don't have purpose, you'll do whatever. Some people that don't have purpose, they're opportunities, they're looking for doors to reach in. But some people that don't have purpose, amen, they're trying to figure out who can I get connected with that's going to take me to the nation. Uh, you're not a person that has purpose. You want to get connected with somebody on your job that's in a high position. Amen. You want to get connected with somebody that's in a high position. Amen. You want to get connected with somebody that's in a high position. Amen. You want to get connected with somebody that's in a high position. Amen. You want to get connected with somebody that's in a high position. Amen. You want to get connected with somebody that's in a high position. Amen. You want to get connected with somebody that's in a high position. Amen. You want to get connected with somebody that's in a high position. Amen. You want to get connected with
Do they look at how wonderful they look because you desire perfection? Hey, they look like something is divinely set up and orchestrated for you. Don't you understand that God has to put you where you belong? And you can stop looking for the door yourself. And expect for God to open up a window of heaven and pour you. I the blessing that you have not in the room, a natural is cheap. And so, yes, Lord. Yes. when yes. we walk in our own understanding, yes. what happens is we error because we have not the wisdom of God. Oh, that's right. We error because. Amen. We believe for some strange reason or the other. We know, amen, the direction uh, that it takes in every area of our lives. And so we say, for God I live and for God I die. And I want your spirit to leave and got me. But every time I turn around, I get somebody calling me on the phone trying to figure out what's going to take place. Wow. Oh my God. Wow. Trying to figure out, amen, God, what are you doing? Uh, but when you get in the divine will of God, and then you know how to shut your mouth and say, God, you shall lead me and guide me. Yes, yes, yes. Yes. Into all truth, understanding that I cannot be led by my own understanding, but in all my ways, I must acknowledge the fact that you are the person that is giving me to direct my destiny to where I'm supposed to be. Amen. I didn't ask for the door. The door just opened. I didn't ask for the preaching. I just started preaching. I didn't ask you to tell me. He just put his hands on me. I didn't ask you to justify me. He did. I didn't ask you to choose me. He did. It was his divine purpose. When I died when I was a child, I was dead for three hours. It was his divine purpose to bring me back for his purpose. What was the divine purpose? The divine purpose was Jesus. And so when you begin to focus on other things and you come from that place, amen, you're already ready to set up yourself for failure. You can never be stable trying to uh, not be trying to come out of that place. You can never be consistent. Every time I see you, you're always at somebody's church. Every time I see you, you're from this church to that church. Every time I see you, amen, you're over here working at this shop and then you're here this shop. And then you live here and you live there. Amen, there's an inconsistency in the spirit because, amen, you're trying to be led by your own wisdom. Y'all ain't got to get with me, but I'm going to preach up in here tonight. You ain't got to get with me, but I'm going to preach up in here tonight. I'm going to tell you your spirit tonight. You let the prophet tell you what I'm going to do. That's the next law. He says, go here. He says, go there. And, and, and do this and do that. And, and it'll move to Georgia. Move to Florida. Move to Vegas. Oh, Jesus. And you find yourself just being ignorant to the fact that God can also speak to you. I know he said he would not do anything.
And now, you're walking in the era. Finish reading for me. I'm going to help them out real good tonight. Come on. Through the knowledge of him uh -huh. that have called us to glory uh -huh. and virtue. Uh -huh. uh -huh. no. uh -huh. Wait, wait, wait. He said he has called us to glory and virtue. And virtue. Now, I look at the word virtue, Bishop. What it means, huh? And he said the, 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 the word virtue means moral excellence. All right. All right. You know, so now, you know, the black church, you know, I'm sorry. The church. <laughs> as soon as somebody finishes preaching, let me pray virtue. No, 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 don't, don't pray virtue with me. Now you don't even know what you're praying. You have no clue what you're doing. We do a whole lot of stuff out of ignorance. And we call it God. And it, 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 we start quickening. Emotional sensation. But we don't understand that a virtue gives you the ability to operate in God's excellence. So that means everything that you do should be excellent. It, it should be crappy. It should be over the last step. Because you said you were the watchers of God. But I'm trying to figure out if that thing really got in your spirit for real. You said you were blessed in holy favor. And I'm preaching right now. Some of you are doing it. Oh, he's boring me. I know what I'm boring you because you ain't got that morality. Because excellent people, they don't understand to be serious and listen. The poor of the church, if they came so emotional that you fall asleep in church now because you know what? You're spiritually dying, still shouting. You're still opening up your mouth and praying to God. But see, you're on the inside, you're barren because you have no substance.
that you're going to make up a method to your own madness, uh, you're already off the wheel. You already off the way. But the mother of all say, I ain't down off the way and walking the road, walking the light, holding this and I like that song, bitch. Oh, yeah. Watch it. Watch it. Wait, wait, wait. The Bible says, seek ye first the kingdom of righteousness. What he was basically saying is, I'm ready to shift your mindset. Okay. You got to understand what I have for you in the kingdom. Amen. The revelation of the kingdom in order to be a, to be a citizen. In order to produce in that kingdom, in this level. You have to be able thank you, Holy Spirit, to identify, amen, that your life now has died to your own fleshly desires. Yeah. Now I'm operating on a level that is beyond my natural ability. It's called supernatural. And so we're still shouting and we're still speaking in tongues and we have the best buck and the nice shoes and the nice hat and we look real pretty and our shout is so learned. Amen. Ain't no real glory in it anyway. Uh, I know y'all don't like me, but watch this. When you come into the kingdom, you do citizen things. And praise is one of them. Worship is one of them. I ain't lost the room tonight. Some of y'all gonna fall asleep, but it ain't for you tonight. I came for one person, two, three, four, four, I pray. Watch this. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Give me some more. Hey. Yes. Number four it says, whereby are given unto exceeding great and precious promises. He said, whereby you're giving exceeding. The word exceeding means above and beyond. What you can obtain. Amen. That means I have some, some blessings for you. That's beyond your natural ability to produce them. Amen. This thing comes with power. That means I can open up my mouth because I have God's divine power working on the inside of me. And so many people say, call those things to be not as though they were. But wait a minute, I beg to differ. How can you call those things to be not as though they were when you don't even understand what you stand in the kingdom? How can you open up your mouth and decree a thing? Amen. It shall be a Sabbath when you don't even understand your rightful place in the kingdom. How can you speak to a mountain? Amen. When you still trying to figure out if you want to be saved. Lord, help us tonight. You know, you, 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 you say, well, you know, we got to all walk in love. Yeah, we walking in love, but love don't make you ignorant. No. Amen. That's true. Whatever he does not get with, you don't get with it either. What pleases him is what should please you. That's right. What he hates is what you should hate. That's right. I'm so glad he loves me. Watch this. What did he say? He's not giving you exceeding precious promises. So therefore, what you're doing is not in vain. There's a promise that comes along with this. And what did he say? That by these ye might be partakers of the divine nature, having escaped the corruption that is in the world through lust. Wait a minute. He said, read that real slow. That, go back to read. I just want him to hear that real quick. Read that again. Whereby, Whereby are given unto us are given unto us exceeding okay. uh -huh. great and precious promises uh -huh. that by these ye might be partakers. Wait a minute. He said that by these you may be sharers of this promise. Uh -huh. That means it belongs to you because now you're in the divine order of God. Now you're walking, amen, in the wisdom of God. What else did he say? Partakers of the divine nature uh -huh. having escaped the corruption that is in the world through love. He said, wait a minute. You say you want to be a millionaire. You say you want God to move. You want to have your own business. You say you want to, amen, operate on another level, another mentality. Amen. I, 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 I can say this real quick. Amen. When, when your soul and your spirit is, is still corrupted, amen, by the lust of your flesh, you ain't got to be fornicating. Uh, you can be eating too much Cheetos at night, amen. You can be, oh, y'all don't like me up in here tonight. You can be eating too much snacks, amen. You can be, amen. You, oh, 
lies to the heart of man is utterly wicked and deceitful. No man knows the heart except the man himself. I can only imagine what some of you are seeing here within your heart, but you're still shouting, you're still praising God. But guess what? That's just a God. That's just a, that's a, that's a false reason to what he really is because when you're really free,
They're going to be stuck here. And guess what? You're going to want to get revelation, but because they're not hungry enough, it's going to be frustrating and hard for you to pour into. And so what happens is it kills the prophet. If it's the Bible told Elijah, and I'm not going to be through, I know some of y'all are tired of me. Told Elijah, he said, Elijah, I got 7,000 in Israel. They have not bowed to me. He said, and you know, the crazy thing about it was, Elijah, he meant was one of the greatest prophets, right? But why is it that when he got threatened, by the most we can sing that they not have power over him. He went and ran. You, you, you didn't overcame all of these other things. You killed prophets and false prophets. And, uh, but as soon as a thing that looks like it has more power than you, it may come up against you. Now you decide to run. But let me tell you this. It was in the God's divine order that he run. Because he wasn't running to protect himself. He was running to his next assignment. Fear had to get him there. Sometimes fear is not always a bad thing because fear will cause you to make some decisions that you would have made just being in a place where you were not comfortable in. They okay and that was over the church now. The church has come to a place, amen, where they have gotten comfortable with where they are. And it's so not just comfortable in your place that you're comfortable in your worship, not just comfortable with your leader, not just comfortable in your place that you're comfortable in your worship, not just comfortable in your place that you're comfortable in your worship, not just comfortable in your place that you're comfortable in your worship, not just comfortable in your place that you're comfortable in your worship, not just comfortable in your place that you're comfortable in your worship, not just comfortable in your place that you're comfortable in your worship, not just comfortable in your place that you're comfortable in your worship, not just comfortable in your place that you're comfortable in your worship, not just comfortable in your place that you're comfortable in your worship, not just comfortable in your place that you're comfortable in your worship, not just comfortable in your place that you're comfortable in your worship, not just comfortable in your place that you're comfortable in your worship, not just comfortable in your place that you're comfortable in your worship, not just comfortable in your place that you're comfortable in your worship, not just comfortable in your place that you're comfortable in your worship, not just comfortable in your place that you're comfortable in your worship, not just comfortable in your place that you're comfortable in your worship, not just comfortable in your place that you're comfortable in your worship, not just comfortable in your place that you're comfortable in your worship, not just comfortable in your place that you're comfortable in your worship, not just comfortable in your place that you're comfortable in your worship, not just comfortable in your place that you're comfortable in your worship, not just comfortable in your place that you're comfortable in your worship, not just comfortable in your place that you're comfortable in your worship, not just comfortable in your place that you're comfortable in your worship, not just comfortable in your place that you're comfortable in your worship, not just comfortable in your place that you're comfortable in your worship, not just comfortable in your place that you're comfortable in your worship, not just comfortable in your place that you're comfortable in your worship, not just comfortable in your place that you're comfortable in your worship, not just comfortable in your place that you're comfortable in your worship, not just comfortable in your place that you're comfortable in your worship, not just comfortable in your place that you're comfortable in your worship, not just comfortable in your place that you're comfortable in your worship, not just comfortable in your place that you're comfortable in your worship, not just comfortable in your place that you're comfortable in your worship, not just comfortable in your place that you're comfortable in your worship, not just comfortable in your place that you're comfortable in your worship, not just comfortable in your place that you're comfortable in your worship, not just comfortable in your place that you're comfortable in your worship, not just comfortable in your place that you're comfortable in your worship, not just comfortable in your place that you're comfortable in your worship, not just comfortable in your place that you're comfortable in your worship, not just comfortable in your place that you're comfortable in your worship, not just comfortable in your place that you're comfortable in your worship, not just comfortable in your place that you're comfortable in your worship, not just comfortable in your place that you're comfortable in your worship, not just comfortable in your place that you're comfortable in your worship, not just comfortable in your place that you're comfortable in your worship, not just comfortable in your place that you're comfortable in your worship, not just comfortable in your place that you're comfortable in your worship, not just comfortable in your place that you're comfortable in your worship, not just comfortable in your place that you're comfortable in your worship, not just comfortable in your place that you're comfortable in your worship, not just comfortable in your place that you're comfortable in your worship, not just comfortable in your place that you're comfortable in your worship, not just comfortable in your place that you're comfortable in your worship, not just comfortable in your place that you're comfortable in your worship, not just comfortable in your place that you're comfortable in your worship, not just comfortable in your place that you're comfortable in your worship, not just comfortable in your place that you're comfortable in your worship, not just comfortable in your place that you're comfortable in your worship, not just comfortable in your place that you're comfortable in your worship, not just comfortable in your place that you're comfortable in your worship, not just comfortable in your place that you're comfortable in your worship, not just comfortable in your place that you're comfortable in your worship, not just comfortable in your place that you're comfortable in your worship, not just comfortable in your place that you're comfortable in your worship, not just comfortable in your place that you're comfortable in your worship, not just comfortable in your place that you're comfortable in your worship, not just comfortable in your place that you're comfortable in your worship, not just comfortable in your place that you're comfortable in your worship, not just comfortable in your place that you're comfortable in your worship, not just comfortable in your place that you're comfortable in your worship, not just comfortable in your place that you're comfortable in your worship, not just comfortable in your place that you're comfortable in your worship, not just comfortable in your place that you're comfortable in your worship, not just comfortable in your place that you're comfortable in your worship, not just comfortable in your place that you're comfortable in your worship, not just comfortable in your place that you're comfortable in your worship, not just comfortable in your place that you're comfortable in your worship, not just comfortable in your place that you're comfortable in your worship, not just comfortable in your place that you're comfortable in your worship, not just comfortable in your place that you're comfortable in your worship, not just comfortable in your place that you're comfortable in your worship, not just comfortable in your place that you're comfortable in your worship, not just comfortable in your place that you're comfortable in your worship, not just comfortable in your place that you're comfortable in your worship, not just comfortable in your place that you're comfortable in your worship, not just comfortable in your place that you're comfortable in your worship, not just comfortable in your place that you're comfortable in your worship, not just comfortable in your place that you're comfortable in your worship, not just comfortable in your place that you're comfortable in your worship, not just comfortable in your place that you're comfortable in your worship, not just comfortable in your place that you're comfortable in your worship, not just comfortable in your place that you're comfortable in your worship, not just comfortable in your place that you're comfortable in your worship, not just comfortable in your place that you're comfortable in your worship, not just comfortable in your place that you're comfortable in your worship, not just comfortable in your place that you're comfortable in your worship, not just comfortable in your place that you're comfortable in your worship, not just comfortable in your place that you're comfortable in your worship, not just comfortable in your place that you're comfortable in your worship, not just comfortable in your place that you're comfortable in your worship, not just comfortable in your place that you're comfortable in your worship, not just comfortable in your place that you're comfortable in your worship, not just comfortable in your place that you're comfortable in your worship, not just comfortable in your place that you're comfortable in your worship, not just comfortable in your place that you're comfortable in your worship, not just comfortable in your place that you're comfortable in your worship, not just comfortable in your place that you're comfortable in your worship, not just comfortable in your place that you're comfortable in your worship, not just comfortable in your place that you're comfortable in your worship, not just comfortable in your place that you're comfortable in your worship, not just comfortable in your place that you're comfortable in your worship, not just comfortable in your place that you're comfortable in your worship, not just comfortable in your place that you're comfortable in your worship, not just comfortable in your place that you're comfortable in your worship, not just comfortable in your place that you're comfortable in your worship, not just comfortable in your place that you're comfortable in your worship, not just comfortable in your place that you're comfortable in your worship, not just comfortable in your place that you're comfortable in your worship, not just comfortable in your place that you're comfortable in your worship, not just comfortable in your place that you're comfortable in your worship, not just comfortable in your place that you're comfortable in your worship, not just comfortable in your place that you're comfortable in your worship, not just comfortable in your place that you're comfortable in your worship, not just comfortable in your place that you're comfortable in your worship, not just comfortable in your place that you're comfortable in your worship, not just comfortable in your place that you're comfortable in your worship, not just comfortable in your place that you're comfortable in your worship, not just comfortable in your place that you're comfortable in your worship, not just comfortable in your place that you're comfortable in your worship, not just comfortable in
your faith, he increases excellence. Absolutely. When he increases excellence, more excellence, which is virtue, along with that virtue, there is courage. Along with that courage, there is strength. Absolutely. So without strength, without courage, and without excellence, you can't produce. You'll be forever praying for something that you have no understanding of. It takes you to be able to apply in order to see manifestation. Absolutely. In 2014, you're not going into a year. Give me strings. Give me strings. You're not going into a year. Yeah. Where you're not producing. You're going into a year where you're overcoming. Uh -huh. Come on. You're going into a year, amen, where you're going to believe God for the supernatural. You're going into a year where you're going to believe God again for real miracle signs and wonders. You're going into a year, amen, where you're going to be able to speak to things. And they're going to show up because you have positioned yourself. I'm no longer in a stagnant place. I'm no longer in a place where I'm perishing because I'm lacking virtue. I'm lacking wisdom and I'm lacking knowledge. I'm no longer in that place anymore. I'm no longer in the place where I'm trying to figure out what is the next direction for my life. I'm out of that place now. I prophesy now. I'm walking into a place where I'm able to function in a level that I have not functioned in before. Business is going to change. My ability to tap into the economic system is going to shift. My ability to possess a man building, my ability to possess property, my ability to possess ministry, going to change. Some of you are going to be out of other people's churches this year. Some of you are going to your own ministries. Yes, ma'am. Some of you are going to have to depend on people to get you to your next level. Your mouth and what you say is about the cause you're possessing. I don't believe you or But I declare over your lights tonight that you Holy Spirit. And everything concerning you is changed. Everything concerning your homes, your needs are being supplied. The supernatural power of God is giving you to go in some of your directions. I don't know how you're going to receive that tonight. But if I was you, I would receive that with a worship. The presence of the Lord is giving you to heal some people tonight. Because God wants to put you back in your right place. I wish you of all things, beloved, that you will prosper and be in good health, even as your soul prosper. All standing all over the house.